Good day, Monday. I hope you're having a good long weekend. I uh, just want to check in very briefly on some of the deals Life Pro's got going, which are plentiful. Um, today, I want to talk about my top picks. There's there's lots of different product lines that that Life Pro offers to help you improve your health and your wellness. Uh, in a lot of my groups, I talk specifically about using vibration plates and how to apply them effectively for symptoms, symptom management, uh, recovery, all kinds of different things. Many of us in today's world are coming from a place of, of healing or recovery where we're trying to improve our body in some way, shape or form. So vibration plates are one of the many uh, tools that Life Pro offers that can be just as effective as a therapy as it is uh, an activity or a form of exercise. So I'm gonna give you some, some ideas and some top picks on vibration machines. I also want to talk about another very popular uh, tool. I've been having lots and lots of conversations lately about massage guns. And I'm gonna give you a real quick uh, hard course or crash course tutorial, um, cause I had a lot of questions uh, the last couple of days about, you know, I can't use a massage gun or when, when I hear statements like I can't use a massage gun or I can't use a, a, a vibration plate, it tells me that you've either had a poor experience in using one or you were improperly introduced to the technology. I, I've been playing with a lot of these tools for almost two decades now, and it's not the tool. It's a matter of how you apply it in many many instances. Uh, the, the very last thing I wanted to point out before I keep rambling a little too much is I have um, taken the liberty of, um, I'm just going to copy here. I am going to text a big long message here for you guys. There. Perfect. And if you are joining me on the other end, um, I'm probably only coming through on the main Life Pro page. So if you are joining me from the VIP group, um, you're probably not seeing me, which reminds me I should let folks know that I'm on this page. Um, so what, I, what I've just dropped into the message is uh, a, a link to everything on Life Pro's main page. I want you to check there first. Uh, that's where they tend to have the very best um deals and inventory in some cases um if you are shopping on amazon at the bottom of that i have also placed a link to amazon so let's just get started a little bit here with some of my recommendations we're going to start with vibration plates i've put a couple of notes in there in the beginning um using a vibration plate and more importantly for you today because i know everybody's looking at the deals and 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 the pressure of which one should i get which is best for me it's not always you know, the top performing or the most expensive machine. And, um, you know, depending on what you're planning on using your vibration plate for, and, and if you have plans to progress with it, um, it, it really helps you kind of understand which is the best plate to select. So one of the things I often talk about is, you know, before a vibration machine even shows up at your house, take a good look in the mirror, what type of a person are you now? If you're if you're in your early 50s like me and, and you've never gone to the gym for purpose or you're not a regular activity person, you know, getting a new piece of equipment in your home isn't going to change the discipline or the type of person perhaps that you are as, as far as the activity goes. The appeal of a vibration plate is that it makes the exercise piece a little bit easier. Uh, it gives you more benefits and less time. But a vibration plate is simply a tool. So if you are looking at the goals, the reason you're looking at buying a vibration plate, whether it's bone density, whether it's I want to lose weight, or maybe I'm recovering from surgery, the plate is a tool that can be used for all of these things. It's how you apply it, what exercises, what settings, how long, and physically, you know, be realistic in where you're starting. Um, if you haven't gotten off the couch in, in 20 years and, and you lack the ability to stand on the floor for longer than a minute, you're probably not going to be, you know, looking for a big, bad workout to start out with. So don't intimidate yourself in, in thinking it's something more complicated than it really needs to be. So I just want to break it down for you. One of two reasons I find people are using machines, symptom management and lifestyle choices or fitness and activity. And if you're an active person now, speaking now to my gym goers, you know, those of you that, that look at a vibration machine and ugh, 
that silly little thing. A lot of the times over the years, long before Life Pro, even, even the medical devices, the way they marketed these things, you know, you, you need to have a certain understanding of certain exercise positions. So for my weight loss crowd, you know, I'd love to see you doing things like squats and planks and push-ups, pushing yourself to fatigue. And, and sometimes it's understanding how to do the exercises effectively. The plate is just an environment that adds more benefit, fatigues you faster. And, and for those of us that are dealing with, you know, things like knee replacements or bad joints or arthritic pain or, or just chronic issues, the plate facilitates the exercise in a very low impact way. If you can fatigue faster and spend less time doing the exercise, it's going to be less taxing on the arthritic joints and, and the bad knees and the bad backs. So it's simply a tool to do those exercises. And the best way to start with a plate is, is just getting used to how it feels, you know, what this speed feels like. What does it feel like when I put my feet or my hands here and, and get assimilated to it for the first week or two before you go looking for a big, bad program. So those things in mind, and I'm going to get invite lots of questions because that's what I'm here today is to help you decide um, you know, whether it's something that you're using now and, and, and you, you were curious about whether it was the right choice um, or, or um, you know, you're, you're considering something and you're not sure which direction to go. So before we get into the actual plate recommendations, um, the, the first thing I want to recommend is, is considering, why is this message here? I don't want this message here. Thank you. Um, is, is what you're physically going to use it for and where so if you're a very very petite frail individual and you just want to get that neuropathy going away or get a little bit of circulation in the legs you know you might want to use it before bed maybe you want to use it you know a couple times during the day when you're using it for symptom management things like boosting energy reducing pain increasing circulation moving lymphatic fluids I want you using your machine multiple times a day, but it's, you know, just for a couple, three minutes here and there to address the symptom or reduce it or prevent it from happening at all. So in keeping that in mind, you probably want something that's a little more portable, something that's a little bit lighter. You know, you're going to put it beside the bed before you go to bed or use it when you're up first thing in the morning. And maybe you want to put it beside the island in the kitchen so that you can stand on it and get some energy going while you're chopping a salad before dinner guests arrive. So visualize yourself, be realistic about who you are right now, what those disciplines are like. If you're looking for something you want to use throughout the course of the day, typically you're probably also looking for something that's simplistic in its operation. So I would recommend, I always recommend oscillating movement for everything that I do. Oscillating is the primary movement. It's where it all started. All of Life Pro's models offer oscillating. If you're looking for more features, more bells, more whistles, we'll get into that next. But basic operations, simple lifestyle, consistency being the key. Look at the waiver the mini waiver, perhaps the turbo or the hovert, um, you start getting into more movements, more features, and you start adding more components, which requires more size, equates to more weight. The more bells and whistles that you have in a machine, the, the, the heavier and the larger it's going to be. It's just the way that things are built. So um, yes, if, if you're looking at using this, you want to keep it simple. You can get every benefit claim the bone density the weight loss all of it with any oscillating plate it's what you're willing to do and what the moves are certainly having some more bells and whistles and some variety some additional challenge for those of you that are more athletic or just looking for more variety in in how you want to use your plate the stepping from the turbos and the uh, hoverts where you're getting oscillating and one additional movement, be it pulsation or lateral movement. Pulsation is, is probably the mildest of all the movements. If, if you're very ultra sensitive, if, if you, you can barely stand the pain walking across the floor and, and you need a very, very simple starting point, one of the models that offers oscillating is the turbo stepping up to the rumblex. The rumblex models all offer oscillating, pulsation, and lateral. Lateral is completely side to side. It's it's uh, a nice movement if, if you're particularly sensitive to head 
uh, sensitivities. It's not a harmful thing, but some of us are more sensitive. Um, a lot of my gals that, that, you know, require moving lymph and activating lymph more, more regularly, like uh, the lateral as an additional movement, it's got lots of amplitude. Uh, so it's, it's, it's great at churning and, and moving that blood flow and increasing that lymphatic movement. Um, in the Romblex, um, you know, when you're selecting, cause there's a lot of choice, they all have different features that's driven by you guys. Some of you want some lights and some of you want, um, you know, markers on the plate and some of you want, um, the curve so that, you know, each of you are very individual and, and which plate is perfect for you as far as a feel in oscillating. The performance is very similar through all of life pros, uh, models. It's just a matter of, of what you want for features because I work with a lot of chronic issues. I tend to lean towards the flat plate style. If you're looking for more challenge, um, you know, you're, you're in better shape or you want to progress to that. The curved plate does uh, require a little bit more attention to your positioning. It, it's it's going to for, force you uh, to fatigue a little bit faster. If you're looking at getting fit, but you're dealing with chronic issues, you're diabetic, you've got MS, um, you may not be ready for the additional challenge. So I recommend a flat plate uh, bringing us to my kind of two faves are the Rumblex Max and the Plus. Uh, a lot of my members in my groups require higher weight capacity and the opposite end of the scale. A lot of my athletes like to add mass. So if you've got some of the, the, the weights that life pros come out with the triform, some of the dumbbells, and you want to add mass to your exercises, it's a good idea to maybe consider one of the Rumblex uh, that, that have offered higher weight capacity. Um, when you're stepping up past the, the base models of the, the, the waiver and the mini, and, and you're stepping up towards uh, the, the, the 2D and the 3D models, keep in mind there's more components. They are going to be heavier. Although the, every model Life Pro offers is portable, uh, there are wheels located on one end of the Rumblex models. But if you, if you want to deadlift this thing up and put it on your coffee table for some upper body massage, I don't recommend going with some of the larger models. If you are working out now, if you aspire to be working out now, you want more variety. This is going to be uh, much more than, you know, something you're using once or twice a week to fix your back. I do recommend the Rumblex. The, the variety is very nice to have. Um, it's nice to be able to mix things up, not only for, for your own, um, you know, boredom, if you will, uh, but it, it, it keeps the muscles guessing and, 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 you know, what is this that we're doing today? So having different features is a good way to mix things up and, and keep progressing without having to change up a lot of your basic exercises. You can keep the routine and the motivation going that way. So um, starting at the beginning with vibration plates, um, I, I also want to briefly mention the new hexa plate models that that life pros brought out there's two i personally personally uh as a trainer recommend the, the the models with the therapeutic bumps on the top i don't recommend them for lots of weight bearing activity weight bearing activity is is when you're standing on the plate or partially standing on the weight on the plate and weight bearing is is where you're going to elevate that bone density when you're bearing your own mass that's how we improve bone density. Whether you're just standing there or doing squats and, and looking to obtain more is where the discipline on you comes in. But with the hex plate models, with some of my clients with sensitivities, with higher mass, the bumps, they, they dig into the feet a little bit. So if you're using one of these models, you may just want to place a mat on it. That's going to alleviate that. But if long term, you're looking at doing more fitness, you're, you're larger in size, taller in your frame, the, the smaller the plate, the less surface you have to work with. It would be awesome if a 10 pound machine could do everything. But if you're doing some big mean squats and doing some dynamic movements, it's it's light uh, and it's tippy. So I, I really want you to think about the hexa plates as strictly a therapeutic some standing. Um, I wouldn't call them a big athletic machine if, if you're truly looking at pushing yourself and adding some some effort to your workout, but they are the absolute perfect second machine. So for those of you that have been using plates for a long time, you know, every machine has its own feel and sound and nuance and all of mine have names. It's ridiculous. I, I get attached to them. What I love about the hex plates is they are the perfect second machine. So I'm going away for a week and I, I want to keep things up. You know, you, you could pack them in a suitcase on the airplane or in the box uh, as a carry on. So they're, they're very light. Um, I think 
13 and about 17 pounds between the two models. I will caution if, if you are very tall, the really little one, you know, you, you don't have a lot of distance to manipulate your amplitude, your, your foot or your hand placement, but they're the perfect under desk model uh, addition to your other machine. Maybe you do want one dedicated for under your desk or beside your bed and you've got a larger model in the workout room or the workout space. Maybe you want one at the office. Maybe, maybe you're, you know, stuck in a chair or somewhere else all day and you can't access your plate. Uh, the, the smaller hex plate models, even the mini, are awesome choices as an on-the-go or a portable option to not only allow you more access to it, um, but you, you, you tend to stick to the consistency piece more if you have it throughout the course of the day, especially in my area where the colder months are just about upon us. So, you know, if you're finding yourself indoors more uh, and you just don't have the ability to get the activity, those smaller plates are a great way to just get the lymph, the circulation moving. You know, maybe you do do, you know, a minute or two standing just to get, you know, things exhilarated, give that energy boost so you can get back to, to the work you're supposed to be paying attention to. So I put those links in there. I've also put the Amazon link. I really... I was looking all over the place and there's so many deals in so many places. It's 20% off site wide with Life Pro. Regardless, it boils down to an availability thing, an inventory thing. So you, you know, maybe you finally decided on the plate and, and you've waited till the very last day of the sale and now they're out of stock. You know, the way inventory flows, it comes in from China, shipping costs, you know, it, you know, it's coming in from the warehouses in LA and being or where, you know, New York, wherever they're being stored, there's always costs associated. So, you know, order in a warehouse today, the price may not be the same a week or two or a month down the road. Uh, it is an ever changing world. So if there's inventory and there's something you've been looking at, consider it now while selection is there. So I've also put a link to Amazon in case there's something specific you want to compare. I want to move on next to massage guns. I said, I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial. So I'm going to grab mine. Where did I put it? Oh no, where did I put my gun? Da, da, da. Oh my goodness, I had it upstairs. Oh, here it is. I knew I was prepared. Okay. Uh, this is an older model, Life Pro. Uh, I, I think this one's been discontinued a couple of years. Um, my, my, my Sonic, which is probably my favorite all around. Uh, so let's start with that. The Sonic it is probably, it's the workhorse. It's the everybody. It's, you know, it's, it's probably the, the one gun with not only the, the, the best selection of attachments, uh, but it's, it's available both on Amazon and Life Pro and it's available on Amazon most times here in Canada. Uh, so that's why I like recommending it. But the, um, uh, that would be my top choice for a massage gun. It's good if you're an entry level, if, you, if you're working with patients and you want something that's not only going to have, you know, enough uh, energy to do the job, but the, the amount of attachments that come with the Sonic model. Many of you covet what you refer to as the spatula. For those of you in, in my uh, lipedema and lymphedema groups, um, it's, it's awesome not only for activating the lymph, but it's, it's good for working the fascia and getting a little bit deeper if the tolerance is there. And that one's in that model. Um, what I wanted to show you very, very quickly is how to apply it. Um, I haven't had as many massage gun chats as I did yesterday in the course of about two hours. Many of you were saying, oh, I can't use a massage gun. It bruises me. Well, me, the trainer says, if you're bruising, many of you are more prone to bruising with some of these conditions, but you're, you're applying too much pressure and the thing with a massage gun is we cut if you've never been for a massage or you don't go very regularly you know we have sometimes this mentality that there's there's one way to massage and it's deep and hard and lots of pressure and that's absolutely not the case so like the vibration plate the massage gun is simply a tool and it's a matter of you know on the vibration plate it's what exercises and how long with the vibration plate or with the the massage gun it's how much pressure and in, in what area to apply and when. So I just wanted to give you a little example. Just like a vibration plate, I always recommend a faster speed. It's counterintuitive on the brain. We think low and slow, but it's not a treadmill. It's a different thing. Slow vibration is very rammy and wobbly and choppy and destabilizing. And if you're using it for therapeutic applications or if you're coming from a chronic place, it's not always the best starting point. What I recommend is a faster speed. So on my massage gun, this one's got five speeds. I'm bringing it up to speed three. 
on a vibration plate for any of you that have watched my sessions wide is more shake closer is less shake doesn't mean a difference in benefits it means a difference in impact so wide is more movement more impact it's 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 more time and and space that your body has to respond to the movement on a massage gun instead of pressing in and forcing your body to absorb the max of movement of the gun with a faster speed you see how i'm barely even touching my skin just skim the surface especially in areas where they're not very meaty i mean if you're doing your thighs or you're you know working on the sciatic on the butt where you've got a little more padding that's different but slow stroking action especially if you're just looking to limp um, activate the lymphatic vessels which are just located below the skin surface and work in stroking motions if you're working on tension um, you know, it really depends on where the tension is experiment with the attachments and see which one feels best, but the approach is very simple, faster and less push. If, if some of you with grip strength issues or arthritic hands are looking at me and laughing, I can never use a massage gun. I've got frozen shoulder or I've got arthritic knuckles. This is where you start just holding on to the darn thing. Do it with two hands. Just by holding on to the vibration machine, the resonance, which we refer to the, the vibration that you feel just by hanging on to it and becoming a part of the movement is going to boost blood flow. It's going to relieve the arthritic pain. It's going to improve your grip strength. Feel free to squeeze a little bit and let go. If you've got areas that you would really like to target, but you physically don't have the strength, just lay the gun on it. You know, maybe you can't get into a position like this, but you can lay a portion of it on it and just increase the blood flow, the circulation, get some relief. Uh, I'm very famous for placing it this way between two cushions on the couch and just getting the side of my hip or, or the back of my shoulder on it just by getting creative with, with my positioning. Um, so a massage gun is, is a tool everyone can benefit from just like a vibration plate, but it's a matter of how to apply it. Now, selecting a vibration plate, this is another whole ball of wax or uh, a massage gun, selecting a massage gun. I've made in my comments here, um, so a couple of recommendations. The first I recommend is as far as, um, I, I've already mentioned portability, um, you know, maybe you're getting started as a therapist is, is the Sonic. It's, it's the best bang for your buck. It's the most widely available model that life pro offers. So you'll see, I've got the link there to that one. If you are particularly small in the hand department, or you uh, really, really need, um, something that you can just take with you on the go, a smaller gun is going to come in a smaller case that's going to have less attachments it's just the way manufacturing goes uh the dyna mini is is always a go-to of mine um it's practically per size um if you want to take it with the case and all the attachments and the charger that come with it um it's still practically per size i'm a mom i got a big purse so uh it's a great tool uh to get started and, and just like vibration machines you know, if you're using these type of tools regularly, you'll find with a massage gun, it's not uncommon to have a couple, you know, one at the office in the desk drawer. So you've always got one there. Or if you do travel lots, you you know, you've probably got smaller versions of some of your therapies to take with you. Uh, so you can take more of them versus having to choose. So that's my recommendations on that. Um, the next thing I want to move into is... No, I covered the mini. I covered the hex plate. Perfect. Okay. Um, I wanted to, there's a few of you here today. Um, and, and with vibration technology, for those of you that are just joining me, uh, I talked a little bit today about selecting the best or the right device for you. And very often it's not, you know, the one with the best features and, and the, the top price tag. I really want you guys to seriously just you know, when you're, you're getting overwhelmed with all these deals being thrown at you. And if you've been searching a particular product, everybody's emailing you and sending you messages and you're just being inundated with by now time's running out. So just be look in the mirror. What am I going to use this thing for? Be realistic with who you are. You know, what do you visualize yourself using the big key with any of the benefits that I talk about are consistent use. So, you know, if, if it's some big and cumbersome thing at at some room down at the end of the hallway that you never visit, 
you're probably not going to be doing it too consistently. So please be realistic with where you're going to use it. Um, if, if you're simplistic in, in your, your athletic approach to life right now you're not very active uh you want to keep things simple keep the device simple uh the uh the the waiver the waiver mini uh the hex plates are awesome as seated devices uh, i recommended they're the perfect kind of second machine if you're looking at doing dramatic fitness um you know you're bearing more mass or want to add mass to your your workout i recommend at least considering um you know the, the waiver or up uh, anything smaller, you, you tend to lose uh, not only size, uh, some of the machines can get tippy, uh, you know, if you're doing lots of dynamic exercises on them. Uh, but if you are adding mass, you, you want to have a little bit more capacity. Uh, stepping up to the Romblexes, uh, my two top choices are always the Max and the Plus, uh, really depending on, on you and, and your lifestyle. A lot of my gals like the simplicity of the Max. Uh, the appearance that it's sleek it's simple looking um some of them like the lights and, and the other features and the bluetooth so you know the plus has a, a few more bells and whistles it really depends on what appeals to you uh and follow my sessions amber sessions and roseanne sessions for how to use these tools effectively for what you're trying to accomplish because all of you are very unique so does anyone have questions for me today if you do now is the time um, if it, if it's something specific to what you're using now, or, or you're looking at maybe complementing it, uh, complementing technologies and combining them, whether you're looking to save time, uh, whether you're looking to increase results, uh, it's 20% off, uh, site-wide with life pro today. Uh, now is the time. And if you have been looking at something for a while, uh, inventory is limited. So I encourage you if, if it's something that's in stock and you're considering it, consider it today um if i don't have anyone else you guys are all smart and you know everything and you've absorbed everything that i've told you so if there are no questions um i'm going to say thank you for joining me on your holiday monday uh the links are there uh as i said uh shop and compare with amazon if, if you are a, a prime member or there's incentive there for you to shop uh, of course compare there also uh, don't work too hard. Enjoy the rest of your holiday Monday and join me tomorrow at my regular time. I'm going to be here Tuesdays uh, for the month of September and we're going to be targeting uh, toning uh, head to toe. I'm going to do four different sessions uh, every Tuesday for the next month at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, 2 p.m. Pacific, uh, starting with, I believe, legs and glutes tomorrow. So join me with your plate. Uh, make sure that when you do see the event uh, posted that you select going or interested so they get notification updates and so forth. So I will see you tomorrow for Toad Up Tuesdays for the next four weeks. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're watching this on a recorded basis or you know didn't think about a question until after because I was too busy rambling, just a reminder, it's 20% off. If you had a question specific to a product or a question specifically for me, tag me at Debbie with a Y. Uh, sometimes the convo gets going and I don't always get the notifications. So make sure that you tag me and I'll be happy to get back to you today with an answer. Don't work too hard. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your long weekend.